Robby Weeds here. Um, here in the morning, it's about uh, 8 o'clock. Um, this is a stand of cool season, a mixture of cool season grasses, bluegrass, uh, fine fescues, turf uh, type tall fescues, uh, perennial ryegrass. Um, during the day, there's uh, collapsed white areas you can see here. Um, but in the morning, uh, with this turf disease, this is Pythium blight, by the way, I'll explain a little bit later, but uh, I wanted to show what mycelium looks like. Mycelium is the actual fungal growth. You can see uh, the mycelium on the, the seed, or the leaf uh, sheaths, um, or the leaf blades. Um, Pythium blight is very uh, noted for having dense mycelium. You can see that here, it's very, very dense very pronounced mycelium um, uh, my, uh, pythium blight very common when it's uh, very hot and moist or rain late in the afternoon uh, for many many days uh, the afternoon rain is because it won't dry out the sun won't be out to dry it out so the grass stays moist for very long um, you can see it's matted down in the center it's uh, moist and kind of waxy uh, they call it greasy uh, the leaf blades um, are very blighted you can see they're light tan some of them have a fringe of a uh, uh, brown fringe that uh, where the tan meets the the green but um the blighted turf uh, it's very common in low-lying areas or uh, where water kind of flows with uh, when it's draining um, but that, that, that's not the only place it'll be found. It'll be found um, mowers can track the disease with their tires or the, their blades. So uh, the, the, uh, how I identify it is uh, the irregular patches, four to eight inches, usually um, dollar spots, a little smaller, but uh, the, the small patches that are a little bigger than dollar spot um, is how I'll at least get it uh, pl be thinking plithium blight, blight pythium blight and then um once i see the mycelium take a closer look at the leaf blades to see um exactly how blighted they are and how matted down the turf is um and how uh the size of the patch is really um the leaf uh the lesions on the the leaf blade is what gives it away to me um just looks a little different than brown patch and summer patch and uh dollar spot which are the most common diseases i run into um is very similar to uh how it's matted down is similar to the melting out of leaf spot but uh this mycelium and these pat uh dead patches really give it away as pythium now the issue with pythium is uh, a lot of fungicides are very broad spectrum but don't include pythium so you would be with a subdue max that's for pythium um i believe uh i don't want to say one that's not correct but i think stellar or banal is also pythium but subdue max is probably what i would do first um and any with any fungicide you want to make sure your ph is correct and use a fungicide activator to get the best uh response um and then you're using a whole lot of water you really uh are using a ton of water um more so than with herbicides or insecticides um if you're uh two to four gallons per thousand volume um so uh you know you really got to jack up uh or lessen your rates or slow down so you're dumping a whole lot of volume of water with the recommended rates um and then with that I think uh, subdue max is 21 to 28 days or 14 to 21 days. Then you're going to rotate fungicides and uh, hopefully that'll at least stop the damage. And then um, that'll get you out of the environmental conditions, uh, the time of year where it's really uh, wet and hot. And then next year, uh, you're just going to keep your eyes open. And hopefully uh, if you can get someone to pay for a preventative fungicide when conditions get like this or... You're just going to look for early signs of the symptoms and then uh, you're going to do similar things. Hopefully get a nice fungicide resistance program where you're rotating fungicides to get the best control and not build up resistance. Um, let me know if there's questions about the fungicides. But uh, yeah, I would start with subdue max and go from there. But yeah, I just wanted to show this mycelium. Look at that huge growth. 
very, very large fungal growths. Um, yeah, that's my ceiling. Very common on Pythium blight. Robbie weeds out.